Okay, some of you have asked how to fold rice noodles for kapont. This is how you do it. You want to make sure you have your noodles already washed and the starch has been rinsed out. Um, I'm, I have a small pot because it's just me that's eating. Um, of course, this works for a big pot as well. So let's get started. What you want to do is make sure that you have plenty of water for the noodles to move around because it'll be a lot easier for the noodles to fall in place and for you to just wiggle it in place. Whereas if there wasn't any water and it was dry, then it tends to stick. So you want it to, to be like loose with the water. So what you want to do is take your thumb and your index fingers and you're just going to pinch the amount of noodles that you want. So we're just going to pinch. And then these are going to be your two main fingers that you're going to use for this. So we're going to pinch and then it's going to slide on this index finger, okay? And the rest of the fingers are just going to be like a back bar to support it. So it's going to slide and then you can take your other hand and press it down and that makes the lines uniformed. And you can make this as long or as short as you want. I kind of like it shorter. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bottom end of the tail and I'm just going to go over the index finger. And if you want it, if you still have it hanging out there, you can go behind and there's your fold. Squeeze out your extra water. You're saying, yay, good job. So you see how uniform that is? And now we're going to high five it. So palm down, high five. And then you can use this thumb if it gets if it starts to get stuck, you use that thumb to just gently slide the noodles off. There's your first noodle. And now we're just going to slightly turn the colander. All right, let's do our next one. I'm going to go slow because I know some of you guys are probably watching this slowly. Pinch our noodles. Okay, here comes the back fingers. All right. Slide it on the back fingers to let it rest. Okay, I'm going to squeeze out some of that water and that'll help align the noodles. Take your tail, we're going to grab it and we're going to loop it. And when you're looping it, I'm kind of like overlapping it, like on the edge of this. So we're going to overlap it, okay? And we're going to go behind the index again. Squeeze, see how that cleans out, uniform? Okay, now we're just going to high five and we're just going to overlap the first set slide out good job okay let's do another one all right you saw how that was kind of chunky so I kind of put it back in the water wiggle it a little bit that helps loosen it up here's a small one okay looped around the index squeeze out this water it's beautiful lines we're going to grab the tail overlap the index Squeeze it again, okay, and then we're just going to high five, high five, thumbs up, thumbs down, and you see how we already have these nice little uniform marks. And so as you keep adding on to it, you just want to keep overlapping it and turning your colander just a little bit as you keep adding on to it until you fill the whole thing up. All right, good luck, y'all.